Yo, what's up guys? It's Goosey and I thought why not make an exclusive channel for Nest Network only uh, which is basically uh, my Discord server and if you're not there I give away a lot of free samples and production tools not just samples, I also give away project files and what else? Uh, I'm working on templates so that's going to be pretty cool and I'm also working on a uh, freaking drum right here as you can see look I got 50 drums right here and I'm just made one snare uh, but I just released this one for free for my discord server look at all those bases mm, look at all those bases and I got a couple a couple of kicks and snares but yeah I'm gonna talk about resampling now resampling is interesting because you can do it multiple different ways okay there's two ways that I do it I either use a serum and resample using the noise oscillator and that's pretty weird probably not a lot of people have heard about that but yes you can do that and you can get some pretty cool interesting results but I'm not gonna do that today that's for a different video I mean unless if people are down for it but I'm gonna be using Edison uh, so first off I'm gonna play this little bass I have for you it's really straight forward bass it's nothing complicated whatsoever it's just this patch I made in like 30 seconds I just have some automation for the level the level volume of the uh, oscillators uh, I have another automation for the if I'm from being if that makes any sense I don't know if I said that right and I have an LFO 3 just for the master tuning to give it a kind of a shape so when it starts playing, it kind of does this pitch bendy thing, and this is what it sounds like. And it'll just go on forever. I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make you see here for like a minute or two. So oh, I also have this automation here. All that does is just automate the semitone. 12 semitones up, so that's basically an octave, it is an octave. That's all it's doing, just so it's not the same thing all throughout. Now what you're going to do, is go over to your mixer, go over here and record on your master. Your bass, which is very simple. Now we don't need uh, this, you can freeze that. I think that's the right thing, this is the right way to say it. Sorry guys, English is not my first thing. Uh, language, language. So sometimes I might stutter or say something incorrectly. I mean, I'm fluent in a way, like I know. Now, this is the interesting part, which is basically scrubbing. Let me show you. Scrubbing through your bass with an Edison. And this is what it comes out sounding like. So you can, you can uh, depending on how fast or slow you move your mouse to the right or left, that's how fast or slow it will go, scrubbing through. <laughs> See, that sounded really awesome. You can do it like on, on the drop, like the first beat, you go boom, 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 boom. And then you go, you know, kind of big. That would be really cool. But here's the trick. You're going to need two Edisons because one, Edison, one of the Edisons is going to hold your bass. The other is going to record it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here. I'm just going to click forever because I don't want 30 seconds. You know, oh, this is 30 minutes. My bad. I don't want 30 minutes because I'm probably going to sit here more than 30 minutes. You're not. You're only going to watch for like two minutes, but I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm just going to click on forever. And I'm going to click on now. Now I'm going to go here to the edit sample. And I'm just going to scrub through it. That's nice. Those are some nice one shots. Okay, I think I'm done for now. We can come back later. Oh, this is nice. Now let me show you what we have. Uh, we're gonna select everything and just mute this. We don't need that. So that's so awesome, man. I love that. 
you can definitely use this. And then around here, we have some really cool basses. I'm definitely gonna use those, they're so awesome. Let's start off with this one. So basically what you're gonna go through is going through, you're gonna go through it, sorry for my stuttering, and you're gonna go and select the ones that you like the most. I'm gonna put it right here. As you can see, it's, it's kind of ugly because, uh, let's see, it doesn't exactly, how do I say? Um, you have a lot of this tail here that you just don't want. So after you have this in your playlist, that one bass that you cut out of the original Edison sample thing recording you just did, uh, you're gonna wanna go here and make unique a sample. That way you can click on edit sample again and have another Edison. Now, what you're gonna do, if you're on Windows, it's gonna be, you're gonna select this with your mouse and then you're gonna be click Alt F, get a clean fade out. And then for your fade in, it's going to be control F. Now you have this clean. You have this really clean one shot. So now we have our fade in and fade out. What you're going to do now is, let me mute this again. You can just go out drawing out your patterns. I'm just going to do a simple rhythm pattern. Pretty generic, pretty simple. It's nothing special about it. But now what you can do is put them here again. You make a sample. And yes, I know it's a lot of uniquing from samples or whatever. It's a lot of making them unique. And you're probably going to end up with a lot of, uh, you can see here, a lot of these. Don't worry about it. Uh, what you can do is do something like this. You can go in here and pitch them up. Maybe something like. Now I have this very simple rhythm. It's nothing too complicated, nothing special about it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna relabel these. Main, I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna name this one Swing, and this one just, I don't know, Deep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, put them on the mixer. And by the way, if anyone's curious how I did that, just click on here and select it and just click Control L. That way you don't have to go here, select each one. But you don't have to do all that. It's too much. I'm going to put this over here. Alt, you pull down Alt and you can move it like this with your arrows by holding on. You can move this side by side by holding down Alt and using your arrows, just like that. Now I'm gonna start doing some pretty simple stuff just to clean these bases up. I will speed this footage up because I'm probably gonna sit here for a while, but I won't, don't worry, I will leave what I did here on the screen for you to see. Okay, so basically what I just added to onto it was very simple. Just an OTT, an EQ, and an effector. I just put a little bit of delay so it sounds a little bit like this. So that's pretty simple. Now I'm going to want to uh, unmute this because I actually want to use some of these. I'm going to go back into this, unmute this. I really wanted to use this. find a use for this something like this wait 
Wait, wait, wait. Something like... So I think I found the perfect loop, guys. Listen to this. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to use this. All right. So now I'm going to make the sub because obviously this has no subs. Now what I'm going to do is start my side chaining. I'm going to show you guys how to side chain or how at least I side chain. A lot of people side chain differently, but I'm pretty sure the most common way that you can side chain NFL is through automation. Uh, but you're just going to want to use a footy balance just like this. Select a small portion like this, grab your footy balance, right click, commit automation clip, go down. And your secret number is going to be 0.8, like this, and boom, you have your side chain. I mean, right now it's not going to work because I don't have anything uh, like routed to it, but that's what I'm about to do. I'm just going to do this first. Oh, shit. No side chain. I'm just going to go select all these and then route to this truck only. Now, just to keep it interesting, I'm going to use just to automate the pitch of this one octave. I'm going to do like this little pinch. Uh, <laughs> I said uh, I'm going to automate the, uh, the pitch of these like one octave every other one. Just to give it that little bit of a cool pitch bend. This is what it sounds like alone. What's so cool about this preset is you can actually change the pitch to get in the pitch to mount. You could do that if you really wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, but I think this is a perfect amount, so. For the drum and clap that I'm going to be using is a Sultan clap. And shout out to freaking Dr. Lobster. You have like my favorite drums. I always use your drums. Um, I mean, at least, at least I've been starting to use your drums a lot more because they're so freaking good. So I've routed my kick and clap to here the mixer. So I've got my kick and clap. Now what I'm gonna do is some like cymbals and hats and side chain them. Obviously you wanna side chain these cause you do not want these to be drowning your kick and clap. Cause those are the main two drums that are supposed to be out in like your face, not in the very back. So that's pretty sounding pretty like simple. It's nothing complicated about it. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick that I use in like every single one of my songs. I get this second. So you go to the second half of the drop, right? And then what you do is get this third kick. Just move it over like this. Boom. You get so much more groove and swing to your song. And you could just literally copy paste it. I mean, yeah. And then, you know what? I'm going to change up this pattern of these bases because I feel like they're maybe it's a little bit too simple. Let me get another one. You know what? I thought, you know what? I want to change this thingy over here. I'm going to go back here and just add like some delay 
I just want to add some delay to this bass. Don't worry, it has no subs. It won't affect it. Maybe a little bit. Maybe just, maybe just like a touch of reverb. Lower it so it's not. So, oh shoot, it's not side chained. No, that's a big no no. Uh, so now it's side chain. You can then play with the pitch. I mean, if you wanted to pitch all the way down, you could. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Oh, that actually sounds pretty cool, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so I'm changing up the rhythm in the second half. Cause I just thought maybe it was too similar to the first. Let's see, maybe something like this. Let's put here transient bleeding. All right, guys. So I'm back. I decided, you know, is it really a rhythm track if you don't have a chant on the offbeat throughout the entire drop? Okay, maybe not here, but you'll definitely have it when the drums come in. Okay, guys, we've finished this rhythm track. Wow, how simple was that, guys?